Welcome to Itrafik. In today's video, we will learn how we can do programming in QBasic. This is specially for class 6 and 7 level. So, first of all, we will write QB64 in Google search box to download the application. And if your computer already have QB64, then no need to worry, you can use it. So this is the first link qb64.com, we will open it. After opening, we will here get the download link. Here showing Windows 64, 32, Linux, Mac. So if your computer support 64 version, then click on here. It will start downloading. downloading completed now we'll open the file or we can click on that folder icon also so this is our file as it is a zip file first we have to unzip it so right click and we'll click on extract to qb64 day whatever this folder name 2000 years later so i have extract the file now i'll open the file here we'll get a qb64 folder we'll open it and here we'll get this qb64 icon we can do one thing we can right click on the icon and send this icon to desktop so that we can easily open this file next time now we'll go to the desktop close all the icon this is qb64 so double click on the icon to open the program So this is QB64 window. We cannot maximize it because this is a very old application. At present we use Python and all. We don't use QB64. But still I think we'll have option to resize the window. Let's see. Let's click OK. display and here window wide and height are showing so in white in place of 80 we can write a big number let it be 150 and height instead of 25 let us give 60 50 now click on ok So now it is little larger but the windows goes little down so we'll go to display again and instead of 46 we will give here 40 so no issue now now we'll learn how we can write a simple program just i'm printing my name here so i'm writing here print print within inverted comma we will write hello now first uh, we can save the file so file save as the qbasic file have always dot bas extension because it is a basic program and here instead of untitled we can give some other name let it be try dot bas then click on ok now we have to run the program so run menu and start run. Two thousand years later. So here we are getting the output is hello. 